My son told me he got his girlfriend pregnant, so I demanded a paternity test, and now somehow it's all my fault. I, 39F, have two kids, 17M and 10F. When I was 21, I had a one-night stand that resulted in my son, Austin, and the father wanted no part in our child's life, so he left. When my son was three, I met my husband Mark, 38M. Austin adores my husband and calls him dad. Now, Mark's best friend, Alan, has a daughter named Macy. Macy and Austin have been close since they were young, and we were all thrilled when we found out they were dating. After we found out, Mark and I sat Austin down and explained that we're happy for him, but we needed him to understand the importance of safe intimacy, whether it was happening or not. He was disgusted but said he understood, and we left it at that. For context, my son is described by others as shy and soft-spoken. He's really sensitive and takes harsh comments and actions to heart. We thought everything was fine with him until he came home one day crying. Eventually, he told us that Macy had cheated on him. I was angry and urged my son to leave, but my husband calmed us both and asked to speak with Austin privately. Essentially, he asked Austin what he wanted to do and if he wanted us to stop seeing Macy and her father. Austin said he didn't want that and wanted to work things out with Macy. I was upset but didn't say anything. Ever since that happened, I've hated seeing her around. All I can think about when I see her is my son distressed and crying his eyes out. I act cordial around her, but I don't like her. Around February, Austin came home looking rather upset again, so I sat down with him and asked what's going on. I wasn't expecting him to tell me that Macy's pregnant. I was partially furious, and I told him I expected better from him and insisted that, before anything happened, he needed to do a paternity test. He was angry that I suggested she cheated again, but I didn't like how she was suddenly pregnant. When Mark came home from work, I filled him in, and he was equally upset. We all sat down and discussed it. Austin explained that I demanded a paternity test to be done, and Mark wasn't happy to hear that. I explained that she's cheated before, she could have cheated again. That led to a huge argument before we all calmed down. I asked if her parents knew, and as it turns out, they didn't yet, he said she agreed to tell them tonight. Sure enough, about an hour later, Mark gets an angry call from Alan demanding that my son marries his daughter. If Austin refuses, he demands that he pays child support and stays out of his kid's life. Of course, we were all angry and exhausted, so I stated that nothing would happen until a paternity test was done, and I wasn't taking the word of a cheating little girl. He blew up at us, and there was radio silence after the call. Macy was told she could no longer see Austin, and he took it out on me. A few weeks ago, Alan contacted us and agreed to do a paternity test. I asked why the sudden change, but he ignored me. He said he set up the appointment the following week, and Austin went with Mark, he said he didn't want to be around me. It stung, and I won't lie, it made me cry when he said that. The results finally came in a few nights ago, and he isn't the father, he was shattered. Instead of apologizing, he screamed that this was my fault and he'd prefer to have never known. He hasn't said much to me since. Maybe I was wrong for making him do a paternity test, but I was only looking out for my son. Was I wrong for making him take a paternity test? Update 1. Hello all, I received a few requests for an update, so here it is. We've all been in therapy, both group and individual. My son has started to come around and apologize for the yelling and the choices he made. His therapist encouraged him to explain his thought process about the entire thing, and essentially, he thought she was the one. She was his second girlfriend, and he thought that they had a strong bond until one of his friends showed him a picture of her kissing some other guy. It turned into a big fight, and only escalated when he found out they had slept together. I myself have been cheated on, and it made me angry to know Austin had to experience it himself. He said he wasn't happy about the entire thing, and he's feeling guilty for taking it out on me. We hugged it out and got ice cream afterward. Austin also broke up with Macy after finding out. Of course, she blames me for the entire thing, but she's old enough to know that her actions have consequences. She hasn't been handling it well, apparently lashing out at everyone possible, and attempting to egg our house. Austin has been quiet, but I can tell he's starting to accept what's going on, and he's been spending more time with friends. I've been giving him his space, and I think that's helped in the long run. Macy has also given birth recently, and we know who the father is. Unfortunately, the father was Austin's best friend, Chris. He decided it was a good idea to tell Austin while they were hanging out here. I wasn't in the room when he was told, but I was there when he started to swing at Chris. I was outside setting up Halloween decorations in the front yard when I heard screaming, so I ran in through the front door to find Austin repeatedly bashing Chris. Mark also heard the commotion and came to pull Austin off Chris. Chris apologized and left, and it wasn't until he drove away that Austin broke down crying. We all went out for dinner that night, and we've tried to cheer him up, but I'm starting to realize he needs space on this, and to let him come to me about it when he's ready.